Sorry, I, I had to Rick roll you. And we'll oh. be back in five, four, uh, three, <laughs> two, and one. We should start a timer this time. Hey Siri, set a timer for ten minutes. Alakazam! Oh my god, it's like the first draft edition of uh, uh, Calamity Ganner. <laughs> That's all, folks. She failed to set a timer. We're Siri failed on. to set a timer again. Ah, uh, uh, and I don't have my phone on me. Fine. How dare you create? Oh, what's that? You want to do something right? You gotta do it yourself. A tree, fields. You've been building, haven't you? Something tells me King Kong here is not going to look kindly upon me. No, King Kong's not about to look kindly upon a lot of things. If you would just allow me to explain, I think not. Screw it. This is the start of the top what? stopwatch. Tell me, Alakazam, what do we, the children of Hargon, value above all else? Um. Sunday pot roast? <laughs> no, you fool! Destruction! Only destroy! Thank you for actually, you know, like picking up some of the slack and yeah, doing the no, voice. Yeah, no problem. So, um, so, so being as you are actually aware of this, you wanna know what I'm, I find interesting? They worship the Lord of Destruction, yet don't recognize Marlock as someone that they should know. Yeah. Which, spoiler alert, we, if you aren't, like, five minutes into this game, you find out that Marlock's the Lord of Destruction. Uh, yeah, it's not exactly, I mean... It's not subtle, either. The twist is as subtle as in M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> of late. Uh, are you doing voices? Oh, uh, ha ha, ha ha. What was going on? Oh, be gone, thought. My lord. Not the shell pass! Full push. Ah. <laughs> Pastor Al. <laughs> Silly builders! You want something done? You gotta ruin it yourself. Oh! I ate chili peppers! You will feel my wrath. Ah! Oh. Deatry. I guess that is Deatry. I've been reading yeah, it as a, Deltry. <laughs> yeah, which is actually a, a great command not to run on your Windows PC. Okay. Oh god. No, please don't. <laughs> that's, that's what playing on the uh, Switch in mobile mode, mode with progressive lenses will do to you. In the name of the high priest. Hold on, you, uh, something, something. Gwaha! Were you not warned, foolish humans? Builders spread, destroy. Despair. Yeah. Desolation and despair. English, not first language. You go get hit. Sonic OE. And then you get the prompt to go into battle, which I find is really nice that they just sat outside and waited for you guys to be ready. Okay. Uh, uh, have you made sword, uh, the uh, spiky swords for everyone? No, I haven't. I so recommend I it. Recommend it. <laughs> this was one of the fights that actually like hurt a lot harder. So what you're saying is go in with spiky swords and food. Um, actually, oh. depending on how many uh, how many you have, the um, the herbs is a good t thing to use. Also, yeah, a shield. If you haven't made one for yourself. Uh, you only can make one for yourself. You can't make any for the villagers. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. I was going to arm them. Yeah, I uh, I wasted a lot of wood. How about the to... training togs? Good for you, not for anyone else. <laughs> okay, I'll put those on. Yeah, no, I spent a lot of resources trying to uh, kit out the villagers, only to well, find out I couldn't give them any. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, eight's so as many as you'll need. I actually think it's like seven, but yeah, close enough. So now if I do this, it's one of those equip. Um, so throw it into your, uh, yes, uh, or if you click on it, that, uh, yeah, that just sorted. If you click on it and then equip, yep. And then set the, the rest of the things to the hot bar and equip the shield. I see you tried to kit out your uh, your things as well with, uh, or your villagers as well with making five sets of the farmer clothes. Yes. Uh, set the swords to your hotbar so you can give them to people. Uh, oh. Click it again, the next one down. Not equip, take out. Yeah. Really? Take yes. out, there we <laughs> there go. There you go. Sorry guys, having a day... No X. And you gave um, Melroth the, the the bigger hammer. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Neat. So well, start giving them people. Yep. Bonzo. Clayton. Give to Brittany, who is like a surprising amount of like stereotypical white girl. Okay. Pet the dog Pet for the good law. Well, good luck. <laughs> you named okay. yours Cujo? Yes. Why you like? Why Cujo? I'm curious. Stephen King. I don't know that I recognize that reference for one reason or another. <laughs> I don't I recognize that. Which? Oh, is that is that Pet Cemetery? No. No. It's Cujo. Oh, it's. Alright, I've got to Google this. Okay, the ghost is going to be useless. Yeah. Uh, um, right. So, I think I think you've kitted everyone out. Okay. Yep, he's got one. Yep. Nice. Uh, he's got one, he's got one. They both have one. Yeah, no, you're, you're set. Go smack. Yeah, we're ready to go take them down. Blah, blah, blah. Plot, plot, plot. Let the battle commence. Oh, that's spelled wrong, though. Can we just spell with a C? I'm. Man's best friend turns into his worst enemy when sweet St. Bernard Cujo is bitten by a bat. <laughs> Becomes very aggressive as Cujo morphs into a dangerous beast. <laughs> Oh, okay. 1983. Yeah, so, I mean, only 14 years before your birth, so... Yeah. Wait, next round. Let's get rid of the picture of monkeys. I Whoop, missed me. Spank your butt. I, I pulled up the Wikipedia page, and, and this, sound, this, this sounds very 80s for a horror movie. The film revolves around a rabid St. Bernard who traps a mother and her child inside their car without food or water during a heat wave and their attempt to survive. Yes. That, yeah, that, that sounds like a very 80s movie. Excuse me while I deal with these quiz rolls. Oh. Oh, it's not it also, like, is a very Stephen King thing to do. Isn't he the one that made the, uh, stereotype, or the, uh, the oh. stapler kill someone? <laughs> well, a little clapper monkey. Oh, oh wait, wait, hold on. Killer clapper monkey? Uh, um, the monkey shines. That was actually the helper monkey. Um. I have a feeling there's a lot of 80s Stephen King movies I need to watch. Um, actually, oh, 
gonna want to go over here. These guys are not the ones I like. Excuse me. Uh, again, well, I did not have a wall like you guys did, and oh. all of mine were still kitted with stone swords because I hadn't gone and armored them up. So the fact that I've up. created natural barriers? Yes. Again, the, the first thing that they would see before even, like, they had, like, five squares of open land, and then they saw my bathhouse and bathrooms. So by the time I was able to get out there and engage them, they had already smashed ow, the bathroom. Ow. Uh, you don't look very good there, buddy. Uh, <laughs> ow, what's going on, man? <laughs> your head's your head's a little stuck. Uh, um, just hit the corner, right? You're, 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 you're clipping into the rock. Um, I'm not sure that's going to be good. Ow, buddy, I am concerned. Victory. Yeah, and then and then this, we were all high fiving the bathroom, basically. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, I, I I've built up natural defenses out of frustration trying to get a worm to admit I planted trees. Uh, but you know what this this lovely cutoff of a victory is? Our next time Aww. on the Game with Dad show, we'll find out what happened to Pastor Al. Who yeah, we check should check on, on him. That? Yeah, so next time next though. Time. Bye. Bye. Bye.